Today is day 166 of Blunder. It is also Saturday, July 23rd, 2022. And I'm just going to be doing another cup using geometry nodes and maybe a fluid simulation. We'll see. So I'll go to general, go up, scroll down, geometry nodes, hide the spreadsheet, click on new, add mesh primitives, cone, put that in here. Um, maybe, oops, wrong thing. Increase the depth, the radius at the top. The radius should, oops, one. The radius at the top should be what's different. If the depth was kind of like larger, and then this would kind of be like that. All right, and then the fill type would be none so that there's no faces at the bottom or at the top. And then at this point, I would just go here in modifiers and apply it, go back to layout. Right click shade smooth and then edit mode by pressing on tab. And then what I'll do is I'll click on edge select, alt, and select the edges at the bottom, and then right click and click new face from edges. And then that should create a face at the bottom, and that's my cup. And then one more thing I'll go to modifier and add a solidify modifier. Increase, change the offset to one so that it kind of thickens outwards instead of inwards. And kind of do something like that 0.12 meters for the thickness and then i would apply that also and that's literally it okay now shift a plane s to scale s y edit mode edge select below back edge e to extrude z to extrude on the z axis which is the blue one which is the up and down and then i'll go to modifiers bevel that should add a bevel to that edge and then increase the amount and then segments which should make it smooth um and then right click shade smooth, apply that. All right, and that's it. And then maybe GZ to move it down, to grab it down on the Z axis, and then S and then Y to do that, um, to kind of scale it more. Um, and I'm gonna do Control S to save this. Um, what's today's date? 7, 23, 2022. Desktop under blends, save under file. And then go to material preview. And while that does that, I'm gonna go to my colors um, site to get nice colors. <sighs> okay. All right, so I'm gonna take this color for the backdrop. So I'll just go down here, go to the dartboard, click on new, and then I'm gonna go to base color and go to hex and then change that specific color to what I just copied. So base color hex and then paste it in there and I'll be, able, I'll be able to see that and then I'll change to the cup and then maybe use this color. Click on new base color hex, paste it in there. Maybe I don't like that, maybe I want something like this. I guess that's better. Alright, and then now on to this fluid simulation. So for fluid simulation you need three things. You need a domain, you need a flow, and you also need the effector. We already have the effector, it's the cup, it's what's being affected by the fluid. Then I also need to add a flow, which is going to be basically the fluid where it's coming from. So I'll just grab it by pressing G and then Z to bring it up. And in the outliner, I'm going to call it flow. And over here, I'm going to call the cube the cup. And then I'll do shift A and add a a cube and scale that really big GZ to move it upwards and then call this one the domain. So the domain is basically the scene where the fluid is going to be in so it can't get out of this um, box basically. I'll do G and then X to bring it in a little bit more. Alright and then at this point I go to wireframe mode because it's easier to see it that way and then I go to physics properties which is over here and I go to fluid and set that to the domain um, set the domain type to liquid and then I go here change this to fluid also change it to the flow change the flow type to liquid also and then fluid effector for the cup is planar so and then I kind of play around with the values until it works um, I'll see that in a few seconds. Okay, but then this is good. Then the domain, I'm gonna do 64 for the resolution. 
or maybe 32 maybe 32 for now and I'll just figure it out later and then I'm gonna select mesh and I'm gonna scroll down and do is resumable and then I'm gonna pull up my timeline and end it at I don't know 40 and then I'll run it and then it should go down and let's see if it actually fits the cup or if it's gonna go well, I think that's good all right, so what I'll do is I'll press escape and then I'll go back up here, control S, and then I'll change the resolution to 64. And then go scroll down and then it's kind of a bug. Sometimes it doesn't play again, so I have to like change the type from modular back to replay where like check off is resumable again, but whatever. Um, notice it does take longer because basically I'm increasing the resolution, meaning I'm increasing the quality in other words and so that takes a little bit longer so the higher resolution the higher the longer it takes to bake or to replay all right so that's definitely so much better than what i had and it's also not overflowing from the cup which is really good Alright, so I'll wait for that to finish. It has to hit 40, what do you call it again? 40, uh, 40 keyframes. Alright, so now it goes faster, obviously, because it's resumable. Alright, that's beautiful. All right, so I'm gonna just pause that and I'm gonna go to, oops, keyframe 40. Have that there. I'm gonna do control S and then at this point, um, I'm just going to go back into material mode real quick and I'm just going to press on the flow and I'm going to press H to hide it and now this is what it's looking like. I'm also going to right click on it and shade it smooth so it looks smooth, right? Beautiful. Now it's like a cup of milk. Alright, and then I'm going to go into um, a rendered preview and I'm just going to do control alt numpad pad zero to get out of that view press the middle mouse button to go back into the view you press zero um and basically basically what control alt numpad zero does it just um aligns my camera to my view and if it doesn't work it's probably because you don't have a numpad so you go to edit preferences and then um add on nope input and then emulate numpad make sure that's on and if it still doesn't work it's probably because you don't have a camera so just do shift a and add a camera right here all right, and so I'm just going to kind of grab it from, oops, maybe this view. Maybe something like that, and then I'll go into the light. Um, object data properties, which is the light bulb over here, and maybe change to select a shadow. So it's kind of looking a little bit nicer that way. And then um, what I'll do now is I'll go to output properties. I don't know, I just don't like the way that it's. looking like I'm so picky like I think that's fine right uh, I don't know it's just not in the center mm, do I like that I don't even know sure all right and then what I'll do is I'll go to output properties and I'll just select a folder for all the 40 frames to go into um, so I'll just call this, um, 723-2022 cup, um, yellow cup, I'll just do cup Y, um, select that, accept, control S, and it's going to basically render, um, the images, right, um, as PNG images, or 40 frames in that folder. Oh my god, wait, close it, close it, close it, I forgot to hide the flow from render from the render um, preview, where is it? Okay, here, in the outliner, and now I can render animation once more. All right, um, 
Let me just make sure. Animations. Where is it? Cup Y. And then these two are wrong. Okay, so I'll just wait a few more seconds. Is this thing seriously doing this again? Why is it doing that? Oh, I'm so dumb because, wow, Sarai. Um, it's still gonna show the actual liquid because that's the literal liquid, but that's on purpose. Oh, I just realized I kind of don't want it to be like that. It's kind of looking ugly. Maybe I want it to be more in the center of the actual piece. Maybe something like that. Okay, render, render animation. Okay, and then delete all of these. All right, and then now I'll wait. All right, so basically now I have all of the 40 images or all of the 40 frames in that folder, and I can go no. I can go back to Blender and I can just X out of that um, rendering and I can just go up and then click on plus, video editing, video editing, um, go all the way to the beginning, add image sequence, desktop, Blender, animations, and just basically go to the folder that I made for um, today. Click the first one, scroll all the way down, shift select the last one. And then add image strip and then now i can clearly see it as a video which is pretty cool all right and then at this point i go to output properties the top right over here in the properties panel i select the folder for my video to go into which i usually just do it right in the same folder where my images are um, and then i wanted to save it um, in the format of ff mpeg video the encoding i do container mpeg4 the output quality high quality and i do control s and then i go up scroll up render render animation and then it should render really quickly um and then if i go to the file or to the folder where i have um what do you call it the video i'll be able to actually see it um in a few seconds depending on what gpu you have or if you even have a gpu you'll be able to see it um relative to that gpu where is it cup y Oops. All right, and here is the final result. Is there any way I can loop this? Repeat. I'm gonna just leave this on for a few seconds.